Let me tell you something right now. When you hear the name Jordan Mason, you better start paying attention. The San Francisco 49ers have a legitimate running back on their hands, folks. On Sunday, against the Arizona Cardinals, Mason is poised to do something no one in the 49ers' storied history has done. Rush for over 100 yards in four of the first five games of a season. I mean, this is a franchise that's had legends like Roger Craig, Frank Gore, even Ricky Wattis. But Mason? This brother right here? He's ready to cement his name among the best. Christian McCaffrey, you know, the guy who everyone and their mama was calling the best running back in the league just a few weeks ago? Yeah, he's sidelined right now, and what happens? Mason steps up immediately, proving he's not just a backup. We're talking 447 yards, people. Three touchdowns on a league-high 91 carries. Do you understand what that means? It means defenses know he's getting the ball, and they still can't stop him. That's dominance, that's power, and that's the type of performance that separates the stars from the superstars in the National Football League. Now let me be clear, Mason's not just out there running up the middle hoping for a couple of yards. This man is bowling out there, doing it all. And don't get me started on the numbers. You want to talk about pace? He's on track for an eye-popping 1,900 rushing yards. Can you comprehend that? 1,900 rushing yards in a league where defenders are getting faster, bigger, stronger every year. The man is toying with defenses. But you know what? If you talk to the guys in that 49ers locker room, they'll tell you straight up, this ain't new. This ain't no surprise. Veteran offensive tackle Trent Williams, a guy who has seen it all and blocked for some of the best to ever do it, is sitting there in an interview saying, Jordan Mason has been one of the best running backs in the league through four games. It goes without saying. Folks, that's not a rookie out there. That's an established pro, making it look easy because he's built for it. Now, Mason's story is even crazier when you look at where he came from. This brother wasn't even drafted. Let me repeat that, Mason was an undrafted free agent out of Georgia Tech think about that for a second. How many guys like that even get a shot? Most of them never sniff the field, let alone get a chance to lead the backfield for a Super Bowl contending team like the 49ers. His previous season high was only 258 rushing yards, 258. That's what most people were expecting from him this year, but nope, Mason came into this season ready to shock the world, and he's doing it every Sunday. You want to know why? It's because this kid's got heart. He's got grit. General Manager John Lynch said it best when he talked about Mason falling behind Jama Gibbs at Georgia Tech, a guy who transferred to Alabama and is now with the Detroit Lions. Gibbs was the big name, the guy everyone had their eyes on, and Mason? He was in the shadows. But guess what? Being in those shadows only made him hungrier. He's one of the many diamonds in the rough that the 49ers have uncovered over the years. And let me tell you, that's the type of talent that keeps the Niners in contention year after year. The guys in that locker room know. Trent Williams, he knows. Mason's been closing out games for them before. He's been taking advantage of opportunities when they've come his way, and what's the result? You don't see negative plays. When the ball is in Mason's hands, good things happen. This man is averaging 5.2 yards per carry over his NFL career. And this season, with all the pressure on him, with the spotlight shining bright, what does he do? He's averaging 4.9 yards per carry and putting up over 111 yards per game. That's not just stepping up, folks, that's owning the moment. This ain't no fluke, this ain't no lucky run of games. This is Jordan Mason showing the world that he's a serious problem for defenses. Let's talk about how Jordan Mason is making these defenses look foolish. At 25 years old, this kid is running like a seasoned veteran, and the crazy part is, his teammates aren't even blinking at it. They knew this was coming. I'm telling you, this man is not just another backup running back who's having a lucky stretch. No, no, no. He's a force to be reckoned with, and the league better take notice before it's too late. Look, Mason didn't just fall into this situation by accident. Trent Williams laid it out plain and simple. He's been here, grinding, waiting for his moment. And when the moment came, he didn't just step up. He kicked the door down and said, I'm here, and I'm staying. You've got a guy in Williams, one of the most respected tackles in the game, saying he's never seen a lot of negative plays from Mason, even in the past. And trust me, that's saying something. Trent Williams has blocked for elite backs, 
and his telling you that Mason is cut from that same cloth. Mason's production hasn't shocked the locker room one bit. He's been a part of this culture, learning, absorbing, and now executing at a high level. The Niners have always been a team that thrives on finding talent where no one else is looking. General Manager John Lynch said it himself. This isn't just about scouting the first-round picks or the Heisman winners. It's about finding those hidden gems, the diamonds in the rough, as Lynch put it. And Mason is a shining example of that philosophy. You see, the 49ers knew what they had in Mason from the start. They saw his work ethic, his determination, his hunger to be great. When Lynch talks about Mason being overlooked at Georgia Tech, it's easy to forget how many players get written off because they weren't the star in college. But the 49ers don't care about that. They care about what you can do when you get between those lines. Mason fell behind Jama Gibbs, a guy who's now with the Detroit Lions. But instead of letting that hold him back, Mason used it as fuel. Now, look where he is. And let's not forget, Jama Gibbs might be getting the headlines, but Mason? He's getting the yards. Mason's rise isn't some Cinderella story. It's the result of hard work, preparation, and a relentless drive to prove the doubters wrong. Think about it. You go undrafted, you sit behind Christian McCaffrey, one of the most electrifying backs in the league, and when you finally get your shot, you don't just play, you dominate. You leave no doubt that you belong. You want to know how you keep a locker room motivated? You show them guys like Mason. Guys who take every opportunity and make the absolute most of it. You think the rest of the team isn't feeding off that energy? You think they're not watching how Mason handles his business and thinking, man, if this guy can step in and do that, then we can all step up and be better. That's the ripple effect a guy like Mason has on a team. And that's why the 49ers aren't just contenders, they're serious threats to go all the way. And can we talk about how he's making this look easy? I mean, you don't just wake up one day and rush for 100 plus yards in multiple games by accident. This isn't flag football, this is the NFL. Defenders get paid a lot of money to stop guys like Mason, and they still can't do it. Averaging nearly 5 yards a carry, game after game, that's consistency. That's toughness. That's a guy who's not afraid to take hits, get back up, and do it again on the next play. When you think about what Mason's doing, you can't help but wonder where his ceiling is. The man is just getting started, and he's already running all over teams like he's been doing it for years. And you know what? He's only going to get better. As the season goes on, as he gets more comfortable, as defenses start keying in on him more, that's when we'll really see what Jordan Mason is made of. And something tells me he's going to rise to the occasion, just like he always has. I don't want to hear anybody downplaying this. We're witnessing something special in San Francisco, folks. Jordan Mason is putting the league on notice, and the best part is, he's just scratching the surface. You can't stop this kid, you can only hope to contain him. But good luck with that, because nobody's been able to do it yet.